Well, howdy. Uh, this is Pastor Walker and uh, Sadie uh, coming to you today. And here's our message. There is hope. There is hope. Now, I don't have any idea what that dog is barking at out there in the water. I threw a stick out there for her to go get. But all of a sudden, she thinks that thing's turned into the Loch Ness Monster, and she's just worried to death about it. But I'm going to try to keep on. And, and the point is hope. She's hoping there's something out there she can play with, which I hate to tell her that there's nothing but a dead stick. But here's a verse of Scripture that I, that I want you to just think with me about. It's a. It's at the end of the book of James, and and it says, therefore, confess your sins one to another, and pray for one another, so that you may be that you may be healed. Confess your sins one to another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. Do you know the best gift that you can give to a best friend? It is that you will give him or give her your ear. And as you give her or him your ear, that means that you're opening your heart up to whatever it is that is going on inside of them. That is a trouble to them. That is a concern, a burden, a worry to them. It may even be something that, as the scripture says here, that, that we <laughs> must have moved. That, that it, it, it's a sin. It, it's, it's something that, that, uh, your friend is ashamed of. It's something that, that is maybe from deep within that they can't fix, that they wish they didn't keep doing, but somehow it keeps happening. Where is the hope when, when you're trapped in a bad place? Where, where, where is the hope when, when there's something that you, you wish you could be free from, but you're not able to? There, here, here's this is a powerful word. Therefore, the scripture says, confess your sins one to another. Go ahead and speak out loud. What is the sin? Where's the place you felt like you've missed God that, that you're guilty about? Confess your sins one to another. Speak those things one to another. And then it says, pray for one another. Pray for each other. Literally, take the time to stop. And instead of just talking to each other, we're bringing the Lord into this. He, he doesn't, you know, you don't have to be a Bible college professor. You, you, you don't have to speak with King James English in order to, in order to be heard. The, the, the amazing thing is that the Lord understands the language of the heart. God understands. God knows where it is that, that we're hurting and that we, that we need to, to express those things unto him to ask for his help. The scripture says you pray for one another and you'll be healed. The Lord releases his power to heal, to fix in answer to prayer. Now, I realize I'm talking to some guys. I'm talking to some men. And you may think, you know, I just don't, I, I don't do that very well. I, I mean, I, I may talk to the Lord by myself, but to, but to talk out loud, I, I, I don't know that I can do that. You just try it. If you care about that friend, if, listen, if you care about your wife, if, 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 if it bothers you that she's bothered, if, if it matters to you, that she's worried or she's heavy hearted, then, then let that be the impetus to kick yourself right into the middle of this verse. Let her speak what she needs to say, where she's hurting or where she's sad, where she's lonely. Um, the, the things out of the past that, that have been, that have been very difficult for her to have to live with. She hadn't been able to get past them necessarily entirely. Things can come up and remind her of those things, just like it can happen with men. We confess our sins, our faults, our weaknesses one to another in a place where we can be trusted, where it's safe, with someone that we know cares about us. And then we pray for one another. We just pray, Lord, I ask you, you've, you've heard what we've just said. I'm asking you to, to, to heal my wife's heart. I'm asking you to bring joy to her heart. I'm, I'm asking you for my friend that, 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 that needs um, an intervention, needs a breakthrough. I'm asking you to do what only you can do. Pray for one another and you will be healed and you will be healed. That, that's that that's the word of hope that that's a that's a means of carrying hope into a situation you got it in your back pocket it doesn't have to be something that comes from somewhere else you and i have the ability to pray for one another confess our sins to each other to pray for one another and be healed the lord by his strength rescuing us try it try that there is hope there is hope right sadie that's that's amen she's amen in it God bless you.